praise the lord is koyo welcomes you in this virtual holy mass before we begin the mass it's a kind request to keep your phones in silent mode today we celebrate the divine mercy sunday also known as the feast of the divine mercy it is celebrated on the second sunday of easter which concludes the octave of easter it is originally based on the catholic devotion to the divine mercy that faustina kowalska reported as a part of her encounter with jesus and is associated with special promises for jesus and indulgences issued by catholic church the feast of divine mercy according to the diary of saint faustina Kowalska receives from Jesus the biggest promise of grace related to the devotion of divine mercy in particular that a person who goes to sacramental confession and receive holy communion on that day shall obtain the total expiation of all sins and punishment that means each person would go immediately after death to heaven without suffering in purgatory Today the main celebrant of the mass is Reverend Monsignor Charles Let's make sign of the cross in the name, in of, the name of, of the Father and of the Son and, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit Amen Mass intentions Special prayers for all the departed soul especially for Felix Tirki, Marianus Oram, Barnabas Tigga, Namita Topo, Fulkeria Kongari, Paulus Bara, Madasta Bara and Prafulita Bara. By the mercy of God, may their souls rest in peace. We also pray for all the couples who are expecting a child and especially We pray for Mary and Ashish Dang family that through them a new life can be created. Special blessings and prayers for all the people and all the members of Aspire to Inspire family so that they may grow in the love of God and share the love with one another. Let's all rise for entrance him.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And on this Easter Sunday, let us acknowledge then our sins so that we may worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You never spurn those who are humble and contrite of heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You live forever to make intercession for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. mercy, who in the varied recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verses 32 to 35. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Oh. 
for sins, your response will be, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Your response? Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord, Lord for, for He is good. His, His love is everlasting. I was hard-pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Your response? Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord, Lord for, for He is good. good. His, His love is everlasting. everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Your response? Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord, Lord for He is good. good. His, His love, love is everlasting. Is Second reading, a reading from the first letter of John, chapter 5, verses 1 to 6. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this that we obey his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God conquers the world, and this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's all rise for acclamation. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord on the evening of that first day of the week when the doors were locked where the disciples were for the fear of the jews jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them peace be with you when he had said this he showed them his hands and his side the disciples rejoiced when they saw the lord jesus said to them again peace be with you as the father has sent me so i send you and when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven them. Whose sins you retain, they are retained. Now Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. 
So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. And Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said again, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. And bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And that through this belief, you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, this um, beautiful Sunday, the second Sunday of Easter, as most of you know, is also called Divine Mercy Sunday, and uh, so named by John Paul many years ago. But what a beautiful illustration of his mercy. First of all, just look at the greeting that Jesus gives. He says, peace be with you. Now, in English, peace has kind of just kind of come to mean the, the absence of conflict, you know, so we're not yelling at each other and I'm not trying to kill you or something. But in, in, in the ancient Hebrew and also in the Greek, the Greek word is Irene or Irene here, and, and we see that um, both shalom and Irene mean that the presence and the relationship of everything that should be there. And Jesus could never have said this before, before now because there was no peace because our access to the Father was closed. But now, now, the heart of the Father is made available to us. And so there is shalom, there's peace. Now, as regards the need for mercy, of course, look how merciful he is to, to them who abandon him, but also to Thomas, very merciful. And so we start to see that this is a great sign of mercy. But ponder with me, uh, Sister Faustina in her diary, now remember, he's talking to a religious in a convent, in a cloistered convent. And he said to her one day, he said, Faustina, if you were ever to see the real mess that you are, you would die of fright. But in my mercy, I protect you from this and tell sinners that the worse their sins, the more they deserve my mercy. Deserve. We have a right, he says, to his mercy. Why? Because God's justice is his fidelity to his promises. And God has promised it, and he will do it. So that's our need for mercy. Maybe a final word of caution to all of us, that we can affect the standard that God will use to judge us. Either God will be merciful with us or he'll be strict. And he himself has said, blessed are the merciful, for they will obtain mercy. Uh, likewise, the book of James warns, uh, merciless is the judgment on the one who has received no mercy. And so I would advise you, as I must advise myself, on the day of judgment, I'm going to need lots of mercy and grace, all right? So I would advise you to try to show mercy, but you're not going to until you finally receive it. I would encourage you today, yes, we've gone past the passion now, but I would advise you, sit before the crucifix and just be astonished at the Lord's mercy for you. Let it sink in. Weep for your sins and weep for joy at the mercy of God. Receive it, and then you'll show it, and then you'll be judged mercifully on the day of judgment. A happy and glorious Divine Mercy Sunday to you all. Let's all stand. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of, of heaven and, and earth, earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen.
Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by the confession of your holy name by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord, my God. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord, my God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter you under should my roof, but only say your word, word, and my, my soul shall be healed. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christ. Since we cannot receive the Holy Communion, let us remember our best moment and our first Holy Communion when we receive the body and blood of Christ. Remembering that, let us partake in the spiritual communion by saying this prayer. O Immaculate Queen of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth Mother, Mother of God, God and Mediator of, of every grace, I believe that your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, is truly, really, and substantially contained in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love him above all things and long to receive him in my heart, since now I cannot receive him sacramentally. Be so good to place him spiritually in my soul and never permit me to be separated from him. Amen. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together. Let us say together the prayer of the communion of St. Thomas Aquinas. I thank you, Lord, Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, everlasting God, God for, for having been, been pleased through no merit of mine, but of, of your great mercy alone, to feed me a sinner and your unworthy servant with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, I pray that this holy communion may not be for my judgment and condemnation, but for my pardon and salvation. Let this Holy Communion be to me an armor of faith and a shield of goodwill, a cleansing of all vices 
and the rooting out of all evil desires. May it increase love and patience, humility and obedience, and all virtues. May it be a firm defense against the evil designs of all my visible and invisible enemies, a perfect quieting of all the desires of soul and body. May this holy communion bring about a perfect union with you, the one true God, and at last enable me to reach eternal bliss. When you will call me, I pray that you bring me a sinner to the indescribable feast where you, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, are to your saints true light, full blessedness, everlasting joy, and perfect happiness through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us say a prayer for priests of St. Therese of Lisieux. O oh, Eternal, O oh Jesus, Eternal Priest, keep your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may touch them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullen their lips, daily purpled with your precious blood. Keep your and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of the priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit, and may the souls to whom they minister be their joy and consolation, here and in heaven, their beautiful and everlasting crown. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in, the, in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. And just a word of encouragement to those who are homebound and uh, maybe also in addition staying because of the COVID, uh, you know, just, just to be encouraged and our Lord is working his purposes out. Um, just know that in our parishes, we're taking every precaution, but come as soon as you're able and rejoin us for the sacraments. But know of our prayers for you. I'm grateful to the Basilica and all the staff here who make this Mass possible, all the benefactors. Thanks be to God for all of you. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks to the Lord for
Thank you, Father, for being merciful. Thank you, Father, for loving us. Because through your mercy and love, we are still here. We are able to worship you. Help us, O Lord, that as you show mercy, as you love us, we may also do the same with others. We may be merciful to others. We may love others as you have taught. For this we pray, our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this, this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mama, do intercede for all of us that we may try to become like Abba. Help us intercede for us, Mama, that we may always try each and every day. We may build a strong character. As Lord Jesus has a strong character of that patience, kind, and as he has As he has tried to become a perfect man and Lord help us pray for us mama that we may also try every day to become perfect as Abba and walk accordingly as Abba spirit say, says to us for this we pray for this mama pray Hail Mary Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We'll see the memorare together. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be. World without, without end. Amen. Virgin Mary, pray, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint Mother Teresa, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Saint Jose Maria Scriva, pray for us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I, I trust, trust in, in thee. thee. Let's make sign of the cross in, in the, the name, name of, of the, the Father and, and of the Son and, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Thank you, friends, for joining us in this virtual Holy Mass. And happy peace to all and have a blessed week ahead. Thank you.